Hi everybody, this is Agnesa from No Sediment and today we are going to learn how to open a bottle of wine with this trustworthy corkscrew. For some, this small but very trustworthy corkscrew and best friend to most of the sommeliers and waiters can seem more intimidating than this larger bottle opener that you can find in almost any home. But it is not. If you get to pick one, choose with sharp knife and good but not that spiral because this will be your best friend for many wine adventures to come. And what is important, most of these bottle openers will not cost you fortune. 10 to 20 euros, easy. When I'm opening bottle of wine, I only need few things. Bottle of wine, corkscrew, napkin, and wine glass, or maybe two, if you're planning to share that wine with someone. First things first, cut the foil. And this is why you need to have a sharp knife, because if you're lucky, then just with two cuts you can take it off nice and smoothly if you break the foil or it does not come off smoothly you might have a risk that the wine will be dripping while you will be pouring it i always cut my foil under the second dip here because when i'm pouring the wine i do not want it to be touching this metallic foil Since there can be some dust under the foil, make sure to always clean the cork and the glass before you move to the cork. Put the screw into the cork right in the middle and then confidently and steadily rotate the screw into the cork. Well, this might be tricky because you want to make sure that the tip of the screw does not come out at the other end of the cork because that would mean that there will be some parts of the cork itself in the wine. But how will you know how long is the cork itself and when to stop? Well, for most of the time you will not know and this will come with experience. But the standard rule is to leave one curl outside. For this traditional corkscrew you will have two levels. So make sure to support the first level on the bottle's neck and pull out the cork straight up. Never bend the cork as you might break it that way. And afterwards, support the second level on the neck of the bottle and pull the cork out with a sound. If you want to be more fancy and pull out the cork without a sound, then just right before the cork is ready to pop, you put around the napkin and slowly remove it with your hands and the napkin will absorb the sound. I always make sure to wipe with the napkin inside of the bottleneck to make sure that any particles of the cork and any dust is removed. If it is a natural cork, you can inspect it and even smell it. You want cork to be elastic enough, not dried out, just to make sure that it has sealed the bottle properly. You also do not want to see that the wine has penetrated throughout the cork and you do not want it to smell bad. But even if the cork smells bad or is in a bad condition, it does not necessarily mean that the wine is spoiled, so you should always taste the wine just to make sure. So pour the wine in your glass, smell it and taste it. And lastly, enjoy the wine alone or with your friends. Cheers! I hope you liked my video. Make sure to watch my other video on how to open a bottle of champagne. I will link it below.